I have to say, I'm really, really impressed by um, the development downtown and, and the, the beautiful buildings and the work that's being done. And it's really incredible to, to see that. Um, I, I'm just curious about um, making systemic changes in terms of helping uh, low-income families, helping those who are poor, just people struggling to, to make ends meet. You know, I, I, mean, I see a lot of kind of aesthetic changes in the city, which are, which are I think, wonderful. Uh, my concern is that there are still people, there are many people who just still suffer, and, and they struggle to pay utility bills, and they struggle to, uh, to feed their families. And I, I'm just curious, uh, I, I know with our Promise Zone designation in the city, what kind of efforts are kind of uh, happening right now to help uh, people who are just really struggling to make ends meet? Uh, you're right. There are a lot of people in our city uh, who are struggling. Uh, in fact, just before I left uh, on vacation last week, I intervened on behalf of uh, a woman who was having a problem paying her utility bills. Set her up on a payment plan, and I mean, she will be good. We hope that the promise itself really helps us over the next nine years now. It's a 10 year designation. Uh, Amazon incorporates about 22,000 residents and it um, roughly goes from the Cedar Hall School District all the way to Green River and Cobra in sort of this weird way, but it's everything, everything is contiguous. In that area, we have the highest crime rate. We have uh, the least access to health care. Uh, the least access to affordable housing, et cetera. There are six major milestones. So we have working groups in each of those areas that are working toward making improvements there. And we hope, uh, so far I think we've, we've won about a million, all of us, but one project has won about a million and a half dollars in federal grants for an affordable housing project in the city. So we hope we can build on that. But we think that the collaborative effort between not the profits and the city and other for profit entities will help us start to lift a lot of these folks up. Again, 22,000 people in an area of highest poverty, highest crime, etc. Uh, there is no silver, silver bullet. And that's why I say one of the things that keeps me up is what we do for our most vulnerable. That, that bothers me. I mean, I'm just that kind of wired that way. Uh, and knowing, I just can't go to the office and say, okay, today we're going to do this, and everyone's got a place to live. It's just not that easy. But we're, we're really hopeful that the Promise Zone helps us lift the people up. I have a meeting either next week or the week after with the top leadership of the Promise Zone to update on where we are. One, within each of the six working groups, but also where we are at a really high level. Um, it's it's something that is really, it's one of those things that you can't just wave a wand and it's done, as you all know. So we recognize it and we, it weighs on our heart every day.